Hey everybody, it's James Quick, and today I want to show you how to accept comma-separated input from a user. Alright, so this is another video in a series of web development examples from scratch. We're not using any libraries, not using any bootstrap or jQuery or any kind of frameworks or libraries. We're just doing vanilla JavaScript, HTML, CSS. So I'm going to start off here with creating an index HTML and then a main.js. Uh, in Visual Studio Code, you've got an Emmet abbreviation, which is uh, just exclamation and then tab. It'll generate uh, a template for an HTML5 document, which is really nice. And I'm gonna call this except uh, comma separated input. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and then I wanna add a link to our script. So I'll do a script tag. Oh. Close it off and then source will be uh, main.js. All right, now I'm gonna use something called a live server in Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna pull open a browser here and what live server does, I'm gonna move this one over, is as we save our HTML, it's gonna, it's gonna go ahead and reload uh, the browser over here on the right, which is really, really handy and it really helps when you're doing um, when you're doing web development. So with live server, uh, the extension, you can search in the extensions here, uh, live server, in, if you're in Visual Studio Code, and go ahead, this is Ritwick Day is the, the person that it's from, and go ahead and install that if you wanna do it. Uh, and once I'm on a file here, I can click go live, and what it does, it creates a server that, um, like I said, auto updates every time we add stuff. So if I did an H1 here and said accept uh, comma, separated input and then do a save uh, notice it's going to pop up over here and I don't have to refresh or anything and I'm going to leave the console open so I can see that as well because that's going to be handy for us today all right there we go so uh, the HTML for this is going to be really simple it will just be a form here so let's do a form uh, with a name of let's say uh, comma fields form doesn't really matter uh, and in there we'll just have one input input with a type of text we'll do an ID of text input and uh, I think that'll we can do uh, name of categories I guess it doesn't really matter uh, save this we're not going to use any styling today so it's not gonna it's not gonna look nice it's gonna be pretty straightforward all right, so again, we're not doing any styling. You can see the form here. Uh, and underneath, what I'm gonna do is basically as, as we add comma separated values, I wanna add them to a list. So I'm gonna do a UL below with an ID of cate categories list. And this is kinda coming from the idea of like in WordPress when you do a blog post, you can add multiple categories. Uh, in uh, YouTube videos, you can add multiple tags. In uh, GitHub repositories, you can do multiple tags as well. So it's this general idea of, of letting the user do multiple tags that are comma separated. So to start, this UL is gonna be empty. So there's gonna be nothing here. I can type in this, um, in this box, but nothing happens when I press return. It automatically uh, reloads the page just because it's in a form. So now we want to uh, go to our main JS and let's just make sure it's working and say uh, console.log hello from the JavaScript. And if I save that, it should uh, give us a console output here. All right, so that's working. So the first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and get a reference to a couple of the different things. So the first one is the text input. So document, uh, document, query, selector and I use query selector for everything I don't do element by ID or class I just use uh, query selector for everything because I'm used to that uh, but I'll get the text input and then I'll do uh, var cat list is document man if I could type query selector and then the ID there is categories list and then I'm going to start off with an empty array of uh, categories and just initialize that to an empty array. Uh, so just to, to see what we're looking at, I'm going to do a console log here of the text input 
and then a console log of cat list. And we should be able to see that pop open here on our console. All right, so the first one, you can see basically the HTML here. So these are DOM elements that we're getting that we're gonna work with. And what we wanna do is basically add an event listener to our text input for every time a uh, on a key up event listener. So it's every time some, someone presses a key and releases it, this this function is going to trigger. But we really are looking for if that if the key that was pressed was a comma. And if so, we're going to grab the value that's there, add it to the to the unordered list, and then go ahead and uh, empty out the input. So what we want to do is take text input and then add event listener and the event listener or the event is key up and then we'll take a function that takes uh, the event and uh, go ahead and log that just to see what we're looking at. So we'll log the event and when I start typing in here we should get the event and if I come down uh, and look at the key code. We'll see it's 83 and then it'll um, it'll change for every every key. Now uh, just knowing beforehand what the key value is for the comma, um, I'm gonna check for that. So if event.key code equals 188 is what it is here, um, then I'll do a console log again and just say comma press. There's a typo there. All right, so now I should be able to uh, type, 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 and when I hit comma, it should put, come up and say comma press. Cool, so that's working. So now what we wanna do is we wanna get the value here um, of, uh, of what the user input. And I don't want to allow the user to input just a comma. So if they start with a comma with no nothing else, I don't wanna take it. So I wanna actually check to see this.value.length is less than two, then we can just log um, category name is required. So that means that they basically didn't do anything. Then we'll just reset the value to nothing. Now else, this means they've got a valid input. We wanna say var category equals this.value. And then we only wanna get um, the characters up until the last because we don't want to include the comma. So we'll do uh, this dot value uh, dot sub string and we'll start at zero and go up until this dot value dot length minus one. So let's do a console log of category just to make sure that comes out right. Uh, let this refresh here, type, there's that. So that looks right. Um, and then do a little bit longer, there it is. And now we also want to go ahead and reset the value to uh, nothing after that. So this should go ahead and every time we press comma, it'll empty it out and it'll uh, we can see it over here, but now we need to basically save it. So I'm gonna do uh, call a function called reload categories and then come down here and define that. And before I call this function, I actually want to take uh, categories variable, so categories, and then push on the, uh, the new category that we have. So now, uh, on reload categories, we're going to basically iterate through the array, so for var i equals zero, i less than uh, categories.length, I plus plus, and for each one of these, we want to create um, an, a, a list item to go inside of the unordered list. So I want to set the inner HTML of the um, category list to nothing. So I basically want to empty it out, and then I want to add on inside of here inner HTML. So a plus equals will add on to whatever it is. And I wanna add on um, an li, and then I wanna fill it in with uh, the categories uh, of i. So the item from the array at that specific index, I want to be the value that gets displayed uh, in the li. And this is ES6 syntax, uh, so the backticks here allow us to do uh, string or variables inside of our string, so we can keep it all on one line and we don't have to do 
like open quote, close quote, plus for the variable, plus open, close, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right, so I think that looks okay. Let's see, let's save this and see what it looks like. So we'll start here, we'll type in, uh, so category, let's say web development, comma, so there's web development, we'll say no, JS, comma, there that is, um, JavaScript, comma. Cool, so it's picking all these up. Now there, you can spend a lot of time styling this more, making these look uh, neater, prettier, cooler, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but the functionality is there, and again, this is just basic vanilla JavaScript, not doing anything special here. But just to kind of recap, we've got uh, in our index HTML, it's really simple, just our form with one input and then a, an empty on our list to start. We get a reference to a couple of those things and we keep track of our list items in this categories array. Um, and then we look for a key up event inside of uh, this input that matches the code 188, which is a comma. If it is 188, we basically strip out everything except for the comma, add it to the categories array and then reload the, the list items in the category. So uh, again, this is uh, one of the videos in uh, web development examples from scratch. No frameworks, no Angular, no Bootstrap, stuff like that. Uh, so it doesn't look right here, but the functionality is there. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stick around because I've got a lot more videos to add to this playlist uh, that I think you guys will enjoy. Thanks for watching.